what's going on guys and welcome to your 17th HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about and uh, basically not anything to be discussed but I would give you a brief introduction and would welcome you to your CSS tutorials now from this tutorial we'll be using powerful combination of your HTML5 and CSS3 commands and properties to create awesome and beautiful HTML pages now before starting this tutorial I would like to <laughs> clear the confusion I caused in the last tutorial with input type tell and I told you that it accepts only telephone numbers and it do accepts only telephone numbers but actually that works when you're on mobile devices so let's say I reload this page and here you go now suppose if I am working on mobile then when I click on this then my input uh, the touch keyboard would automatically pop up now we have a touch keyboard down here in windows as well and as you can see if you can see this keyboard then when I click on this this gets automatically converted into a numpad so that I can type a number so basically that's how input type tell works it's basically for mobile users and not for your desktop users so oh I just close that so let's open that again and uh, not jQuery but HTML and CSS with 17 tutorial and here we go now so to introduce you to CSS would be a kind of difficult but let's take it this way now we have been working with these raw HTML elements all these backgrounds the white background the white input type background this grayish type background this color all this is by default so basically CSS gives you the power to customize each and everything's style in its own way on your document and in CSS we have a lot of things to learn so uh, I would recommend you not to skip any of the tutorials if you are not good in CSS because uh, every tutorial I make would be very useful and would contain very useful information for you to work with CSS in the future so just introducing you to CSS is for now is that CSS pretty much uh, you could customize anything right here for example if you create a paragraph hello world and you reload this so for example I want the font size of this to be very large color to be red background to be black it should be have it should have a text shadow it should have a box shadow and uh, let's say it should have a transparency or what we technically call it opacity of 50 percent so how would you do that we have CSS for that for web development purposes so CSS actually allows you to work with your HTML elements and customize them and make them beautiful for users to display so let's take an example of a site without CSS and I'll show you that let's say let's open an a incognito tab and let's visit facebook.com and why not M the mobile version of Facebook since I'm browsing a small version so it would not be visible so everything I'm doing here you need not to learn right now but let's see how Facebook would look like without having any CSS so that's how mobile Facebook would look like if we remove all the CSS from this page so currently it looks so beautiful for mobile devices and if I remove CSS then that's how your Facebook mobile looks like so now you can actually understand the difference between two and the power of CSS the logos are inserted with CSS this alignment width all these fonts everything is done with CSS so now you know that CSS is very powerful and you have to use it carefully and it's very elegant and once you understand the basics then there should be no uh, difficulty in grabbing your own CSS 
basically grabbing a command on your CSS properties and using them fluently just like your mother tongue. <laughs> so this was a brief introduction about CSS and why do we need it and from next tutorial onwards we would be taking some hands-on with HTML and CSS both and would be creating some powerful and sweet awesome web pages. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.